When I was doing research for this video, I came across such a mind-blowing fact about tretinoin, which is retinoic acid, retin A. It blew my mind. You're not going to want to miss out on this, I promise. Hi friends. In the last two years or so, I've noticed that I've gotten a lot more compliments on my skin than ever before. And I'm betting that this is something you want to I'm guessing you want to diminish your fine lines and wrinkles, we all do. You want to maybe reverse some photo damage, signs of aging. And get this, there is a product that can thicken and stimulate the collagen in your skin. And it's the product that I'm using. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to keep you waiting. It's tretinoin or retin-A, also called retinoic acid or a retinoid. The milder version is called retinol, and that's available over the counter. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, all these things are basically the same, the same name. They're classes of retinoids, which are derivatives of vitamin A, and therefore they're classed as an antioxidant. Can you see, in true Louis style, I've done a whole lot of Google research. I think number one is to know that um, it's only available by prescription. You need to get a script from a dermatologist, which I do. Uh, quick disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice. Don't take anything I say as um, telling you what to do. This is for information and entertainment purposes only. And I always encourage you, please go and do your own research. So, of course, I've done the research. I will link in the description box below to all my sources. And I'm just going to show you the product that I've been using consistently for the last two years. Okay, so it does have gly glycolic acid as well, but the, the active ingredient is tretinoin. There we go. And uh, yeah, I get it through my dermatologist. I wish I had been using this since I was in my 20s. I didn't know that such a thing existed, that it could be effective. I basically believe that all these creams and lotions and potions, that anything you apply to your skin, I used to believe that none of it could do anything other than hydrate. Um, and I, I used to feel that, you know, I would get hooked in and buy these, these fancy creams, um, but I never really believed that they could do much until this. Um, it was just by sheer luck that the dermatologist suggested it to me and um, prescribed it for me. So thank goodness for that. Rather late than never, right? I'm just going to cut to a clip now quickly of me without makeup, bare skin, so you can just see my skin. Okay, this is my face completely bare of makeup. There may be just old eyeliner on, but it's been washed. Just so you can see my actual natural skin, even in natural light. This is the result of retinol. Um, I hope I'm getting it and let's just go back into the house so you can see that although when I smile like that the big cheesy grin um, my face obviously crinkles up and neck wrinkles but overall I would say for my age and I'm just <laughs> saying it um, I have hardly any wrinkles so I swear by tretinoin Right, so as you can tell, I'm actually very excited about tretinoin or retin A or retinol or retinoid, retinoic acid. Uh, I do want to get the word out there to all the women. So I'm 41, very, very close to 42. And I mean, you've seen my skin and here it is again. Uh, sorry, I'm wearing AirPods for the sound. So I had a lot of questions before I started to use it consistently. I had the jar and I never used it because when you put it on at first, it does prickle your skin and it makes it a little bit somewhat itchy. It's depending on how sensitive your skin is, it can feel like maybe little ants crawling on your skin. This is completely normal. So let's go through the stages of using this product. It is safe for all skin types according to the Google research I've done, but some people do freak out and then they stop using it. So number one, when you start using it consistently, that feeling of sensitivity does ramp up and you do peel, you might flake a bit, you get a bit red, um, and it does feel uncomfortable, sensitive, 
would be the word. So that's probably why I gave up using it at first. So yeah, I had this jar of cream and then for some reason I decided, no wait, let me just research it properly. And when I saw all the science behind the fact that this cream actually does work, it works on a cellular level. Um, it can actually boost your collagen and elastin. It does diminish fine lines and wrinkles. It fights photo aging. Oh, and get this, this is the one I'm very excited about. It actually is anti-cancerous. What? Let me just read that out to you. So in an article that I found on nytimes.com, it says here, the best part, retinoids have also been used to treat precancerous cells. Studies show that after two years of use, these abnormal cells returned to normal. I mean, freaking hell, that's, that's like quite mind-blowing for me. So if retinoids can reverse precancerous cells, Imagine what they can just do for normal healthy cells. So how it works is that it increases your skin cell turnover. Healthline.com says that since retinoids are derivatives of vitamin A, they're actually considered antioxidants. Hmm. In addition, they're a cell communicating ingredient. This means that it's their job to talk to your skin cells and encourage healthier younger cells to make their way to the surface of the skin. So on a cellular level, scientifically, now let's ask, how does it work? According to Minway, Kristen Lee, a dermatologist in Walnut Creek. Sorry, that's quite a name, hey? <laughs> she says, and this is on the NewYorkTimes.com uh, website, Retin-A helps normalize the skin cells because skin cells contain retinoid receptors. So your skin has got receptors for this retinoid that help regulate how the cells function. As we age, our cells behave more erratically. And this, the retinol, causes the skin cells to turn over more rapidly. It also boosts collagen. It has the potential to stop photo-aging before it starts. Um, and here's the ultra cool part that I found. The retinoids prevent the rise of collagenase. Now, collagenase breaks down collagen. So that's an enzyme that breaks the collagen down. So regular use of the retinoid product actually does increase the amount of collagen formed in our skin. I mean, this is so awesome. This is a product that you, you can just apply topically to your skin. It's not that expensive. For me, because you use so little, um, it's actually cheaper than most high-end moisturizers out there. For me, it works out a lot cheaper. And then I don't use anything fancy. I just use a basic moisturizer that contains a sunscreen um, for my skin during the day. So yeah, there's no needles. You don't have to go under the knife for this. You don't have to take uh, collagen tablets. It's all in one topical cream. I mean, how come more of us don't know about this? I'm just gonna show you now quickly how I actually use it and we can go through some of the questions while I talk and show you. Um, I only use it at night. It's That's what's recommended is to just use it at night. Generally, you will build up a tolerance. So yes, you do go through that initial phase of peeling, flaking, redness. And initially, when I first started to use it, I did break out. So a few pimples around the chin and stuff. So generally with uh, Retin-A or Retinol or Retinoids, your skin gets worse before it gets better. But mine now is retinized, which means it's used to the retin, retin A. And uh, yeah, I can use it quite comfortably. I do find if I use it every single day, it gets a little bit more irritating and my skin gets a bit sensitive. So I've come to a comfortable medium now where I use it every second day. So not every single night. Sometimes I do. I did try and build up to every single night, but then I do find sometimes my skin gets, um, it's quite sensitive to the touch. So yeah, what I do is also to stop my skin reacting too badly to it is I, I don't generally wear makeup during the day like base or anything like that. Yay, because of this. And so <laughs> I just apply it onto my face unwashed at night, sleep, um, with it on and then I wash it off in the morning and then I put my 
sunscreen containing moisturizer over that. So literally this is all I do. Um, I, I was going to film this at night while I was doing it, but the lighting is so bad. So I love this stuff so much. <laughs> I often joke that I could just, I want a bath in it. Can you imagine, hey? So it's a pea-sized amount. I'm not going to do too much now because obviously it's daytime, but just to show you. And the creams are stored in opaque packaging or dark jars because it is sun sensitive. So this will break down in the sun, which is also why they recommend you use it at night. And I actually use a little bit on my hands as well, back of my hands, which to make them look lovely. I use some on my chest here. That's why I'm wearing something on my neck. I dab it all around here, here, my nose. And according to healthline.com on their article, I just dab, dab, dab everywhere and just rub it in. You can go quite close around your eyes. So I even close my eyelids and I just do, I don't put it into my eyes, obviously. I just dab around, but you can actually go quite close. It's not going to hurt the skin, um, but you just, and I even put it definitely here because there are a lot of fine, fine <laughs> lines and wrinkles go around here. Literally just dab a pea-sized amount. A little goes a long way. And you can build up to more. And um, they're on my hands as well. And whatever's left over, I just rub everywhere, everywhere. I, I really do wish I could bath in the stuff, but obviously you can't afford that. So a little bit. It's last one little tub like that, jar, like that could last me easily six months, eight months, depending on how often I use it. So over two years, I've only used like two, maybe three, three of those. And also, as you can see, I'm, I'm starting to use it on my decollete, or is that the right word for this place? And I'm using it a little bit on the back of my hands to prevent aging. Because obviously, as we age, we we have these areas that show it. So we want to keep it nice and young. The area on myself that I have found um, the biggest difference, because obviously on your face, it's hard to sometimes... Well, no, I can see it on my face too. But on my face, I also put other treatments and things. And But on my neck, I've noticed that the skin on my neck, which... I mean, you can't cover up with makeup. Well, you can, but yeah. Um, this skin here seems to have improved a lot. It seems a lot, yeah, more collagen-y. Collagen-y, is that a word? It is now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so obviously if I do that, there's neck wrinkles and there's old lady skin. But I'm finding that on my neck, it's, it, it is a huge improvement. And on the days that I do put it on my hands, um, I wake up and my hands look amazing. So, yes, in the research I've done, you can start using it in your 20s. I wish, I wish I had started using this product in my 20s. I wish I'd even known about it. I didn't. So that's why I'm making this video. This video is for every woman, everywhere of any age. If you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, hell, 60s, tretinoin, retinoic acid, retin-A, memorize those names in your head and go and find a dermatologist that will write your script if if you find that your skin is sensitive you can start with a retinol that's the over-the-counter one um so yeah that, that's cool too so ideally you should start off maybe with a milder strength and work your way up to a stronger one i actually didn't though my dermatologist just prescribed me this one and that's what i stuck with and it is actually the highest strength one um, but I do encourage you to just do a bit of research on the strengths that are available. So mine is 0.1% tretinoin. And in some of the websites that I read, um, it says that you shouldn't really be mixing it with other acids. But this one comes pre-mixed at a pharmacy and it has glycolic acid in it. I think almost everyone should be using it. Um, it's just my opinion. But I love it and I have to share the, the news. Please, if you if you think that there's nothing out there topically that you can apply that works, think again. This is the stuff. Bye. I just want to read out a little bit more of the science. I'm going to just interject that into here. Um, there was a double blind study done on retin A in 1988 in Michigan. 
showing a statistically significant improvement after 16 weeks of use in all 30 patients. And uh, it improved skin texture, diminished fine lines and wrinkles, reduced brown spots and improved photo damaged skin. I mean, wow, wow, wow.